Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm going to show you in this video how to make these fine crystal winter earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. What I use here for this video are the beads from the Crystal Snowflake collection of my friends from Beading School by Erica Sandor. If you want to see unboxing video of this collection and see all of the beads that are in there, uh, you could check this unboxing video here. And uh, here are other earrings that I did from the same collection that I also have a video with these earrings and you also could check it out here at the eye icon. Down there in description you will find links to this collection and uh, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. Also a link to my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here, as I mentioned in the beginning, are the beads from the Crystal Snowflake collection of Beading School by Erica Sandor. And what I'm using here for these earrings are these diamond duo beads with two holes. These are round beads, three millimeters. These are bicons in metal color, also three millimeters. These are 15 oz Mayuki seed beads. This is a teardrop crystal. These are earring findings that I use from my own stash. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches to 0.15 millimeters. Maybe it's better to use fire line for this project, but a crystal fire line. And uh, here I use size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up is a round bead and a bicon, a round bead and a bicon, a round bead and a bicon, a round bead and a bicon. I make this sequence four times and now I have four round beads and four bicons. Eight beads in total and I'm going to slide all of those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. I first make a loop, go twice through the loop I make and I pull and then what I do is that I make one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. So now guys I have this, I have this beautiful shape. And then I go in my next seed bead, uh, not seed bead but round 3mm bead after my knot. And now I'm going to pick up four of these beautiful seed beads. Okay, I have four 15 oz here. And I go back in circle through this round bead. Now I have this. Then I go through the bicon and I go through the next round bead. And what I need to take are four more round beads, uh, four more seed beads, sorry. Okay, four. And as I'm exiting through this round bead, I'm going back in circle and I close like this my loop. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay guys, and now I have this and in my next step what I want to do is go through this bicon and through all of those four beads that I just added. Okay, I'm going through all of those beads here in this direction. And now guys, as I'm exiting here after the fourth bead, 
what I need to add is one seed bead, one round three millimeter bead and one seed bead. And I'm going here in the next four beads that I've been adding around. Okay, just like this. Then I go here through the next beads, next two beads, and I take one seed bead, one round bead, and one seed bead again, and I go through these four that are that are on my way. Okay, and I'm going to repeat this two more times. Okay guys, now I have this and what I want to do next is go through all of those seed beads and exit out of the round bead. And then in my next step I will exit out of the next seed bead that's coming up, okay? Now guys, what comes next are my diamond dual beads, okay? And I'll take just one to show you how it looks. You see? Here from this side it is flat and uh, here for, from this side you see it's pointy. So uh, I want to take the pointy side to be in this direction. What I forgot to tell you when I was making my other project is that these diamond dolls they have sides and you should match the sides. Okay, so I take three C beads. And as I'm exiting here after the first bead, you see the first one, I take my diamond dual pointing like this with the flat back at the other direction and the pointy side in this direction. Okay, so now what I want to do is take five C beads. Okay, I have five. And I'm going through the other empty hole of the same diamond dual bead and I pull. Then I repeat what I did here. I want to take three seed beads just like this. I have three and I'm going here at the first seed bead. You see where I'm going and then through the round bead. And then I pull gently. Okay. Then to attach my next diamond dual, I go after the first C bead here. And I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm taking three C beads, just like this. I'm taking my diamond dual, pointing here like this. You see the flat part is from here. And the pointy part is from this side. And I go through one of its holes, okay, in this direction. Then what I want to take are five seed beads. Okay, I take my five and I go through the empty hole. You see of the same diamond dual. And I pull just like this. Then I take three C beads, three of them, and I go here at the first C bead, then through the round bead and the following C bead. Okay. And now, guys, I'm going to repeat this two more times. Uh, I will do this off camera and I'll meet you here. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and see how I add these two and add those the same way here. And I'll see you in a while. Okay guys, and I just added my fourth diamond dual bead the same way that I showed you. And now I'm exiting out of this round bead and I want to go through these three seed beads in this direction and I'm pulling gently. 
Okay, and as I'm exiting here, you see one bit away from my diamond door. What I want to take are three millimeter bit, round bit, seed bit, one more round bit, and one more three millimeter bicon. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. Okay, and what I want to do next is go here one bit away from my diamond do but from this side okay and i pull gently then guys what i want to do next is turn my work like this to be easier to continue and i want to go in this direction through some beads Okay. Pull tight. Then what I want to do is go here through these two beads away and I want to be one bead away from my diamond door. Okay, you see, here I am, I'm exiting here and what I want to take is the same thing, a bicon, a round bead, a seed bead, a round bead and a bicon. Okay, this is what I have now here. And as I'm exiting here, I want to go in the same place, but from the opposite side, okay? I'm going one bit away from this diamond do here. And I pull. Now guys, I'm going to continue this two more times. I will go here, exit one bit away from this diamond door, at a bicon, a round bit, a seed bit, a round bit, and a bicon, and go one bit away from this diamond door. Okay, I will repeat this two more times. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind the video and check it out. Okay, when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I hope you did everything up to here. If not, rewind the video and see how I'm doing it one more time. And now what we are doing is to make an additional thread pad to reinforce my work and add my last element. Okay. Now what I want to do is go here through all of those beads in this direction. I want to exit in this diamond do and in these five beads that are on top of it. Just making a reinforcement of my work. Okay. I exit here through the diamond do. Okay. Then to continue through the first seed bead and through all of those beads. And I want to exit here at the edge where I will add three more of these beautiful seed beads. Okay, like this. And I go back here in circle through this one. And I'm making here a cross of four. And what I want to do is reinforce this cross one more time because I don't want it moving around. Okay, now it's reinforced and I will continue this. I'm going here through the bicon, then through the first seed bead and through the diamond do. Okay, now I go through these five beads in this direction and through the diamond do then I go here through the first seed bead 
and exit here. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going through this seed bit like this and I take three seed beads. I go back here like this. Okay guys, I think you get the idea. Now reinforce these beads, go here through the diamond do and here and add three and add three and when I'm ready I'll be back. If you forgot how I'm doing this you could always rewind and see. See you in a while. Okay guys and here I am where I just added my last cross of four beads here and what I want to do next is go through this bit that is sticking out the most because in, a, in my next step I'm gonna be adding this teardrop crystal. Okay and you see this teardrop its hole is from this side. Usually in my tutorials I'm showing how to add teardrop when the hole is through the whole bit but now it's easier variation of this work. So what I want to take are 350 and I want to go through the hole of my crystal here, my teardrop crystal. Slide all of those down. Okay, and what I want to take are three more of these beautiful seed beads. And I want to go again through this bit that is sticking out the most. And I'm making here a beautiful loop. And now what I want to do is reinforce this loop one more time. Okay, going here. And one more time through those beads. Okay. And now I have my teardrop attached and in my next step guys what I want to do is go here in this direction through all of those beads around and I want to exit here where I want to attach my ear wire. Okay I won't make you watch me go through all of those bits because it will take time but meet me when you come up to here. So I will take it like this. I will take two seed beads, slide those down okay to my work then I will take my earring finding in this direction. I'll slide it down as well and I'm going to take two more of those beautiful seed beads. Okay. And I'm going back in circle through the same seed bead. Okay. And I pull. Now I have this beautiful loop of beads. And what I want to do is reinforce it by going several times around. Okay. I'll show you one more time. You could do two or three times. Okay. Then in my next step, what I want to do is go back here and here. And what I want to do is find a place to make a knot. You could do it, let's say, somewhere here at the center of my work. Let's say here. I will bend my work because it will be easier for me to make it like this. Okay, I'm here. So what I do is that I make a loop between those two beads. just like that and I go once and then I go second time through this loop I've made and I make sure I'm between those two bits where I started my knot from and I pull 
and then what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction, okay? And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut my thread as close as possible to my work. And now, guys, my earring is ready. Okay, guys, so now my Christmas winter earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I post new videos, usually two times a week, and you will be inspired often. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials and also you could check my second channel with the fast clips also link in description and at the eye icon and you could check it out as well thank you so much for watching bye bye from me